Hey guys, David Patrick Green here. Just uh, giving you a little view of the seawall area on False Creek in Vancouver. This is George Wainborn Park. It's very tranquil here. It's actually hard to believe this is a major city. But anyway, just a little just a little uh, tourism video for you. Um, yeah, hey, this is me. I just found out that I can switch between uh, both cameras on my phone uh, in the same video. So I just had to do it. Uh, today I've got a, a great video, something that I learned from uh, uh, Tika uh, Waititi, who is the uh, director of numerous films. He's really just exploded onto the scene recently. And, uh, you know, I... I I go to screenings and I was at a screening of uh, Jojo Rabbit, which is just an imaginative, incredibly imaginative um, movie about a couple of kids and their experiences uh, in, uh, I can't remember where they are. Are they in Poland uh, or Holland? Are they in, in Holland? Isn't that weird? Anyway, so, uh, you know, it's, it's their experiences as kids in World War II uh, when, you know, the Nazis are getting kind of run out of town. And, uh, you know, their experience meeting this little Jewish girl who was hiding, who was being hidden by their mother in the attic. And uh, Taika himself actually plays Adolf Hitler, but he's more like an, a fun, strange incarnation of Adolf Hitler. But... Um, what I found, I found the film incredibly fascinating and imaginative and just like, where does this come from? And it comes from a New Zealander who is of uh, Maori descent of all things. And so uh, I, I asked him uh, at the screening, I said, you know, where do you come up with this, these ideas, these scenarios? And his answer is one that I have been, uh, you know, trying to encourage you guys to to do and and that is a lot of his uh, work comes from real situations in life you know something happens to him that he finds fascinating and memorable and he either writes it down or it just strikes him in the moment oh you know what this scene reminds me of a situation when and so I think this is really great news for actors. You know, you don't have to make choices. Um, you just have to sort of live your life and trust that you are interesting. And, and trust me, you are interesting. And people want to see your point of view, but you can't be shy about sharing it. Because obviously, if Taika Waititi uh, isn't shy about making a movie uh, you know, called Jojo Rabbit about a weird imagined Hitler and a little Jewish girl and all kinds of weird, crazy stuff going on, then why should you? Like, what are you worried about? What are you embarrassed about? So put it out there because people want to know what your point of view is. They don't always agree with it. They don't always like it, but there's always going to be an audience for you. Um, but there can't be an audience if you don't share with them who you are and what you have to offer. Uh, so really, that's that's what I um, I just found fascinating is somebody that creative, and who knows, maybe Picasso and Michelangelo and all those people would say the same thing. Well, oh, I take I, the Sistine Chapel. Oh, that that's just me uh, remembering a few things that happened to me in my real life. It's a real life scenario, and I have interpreted things in my life that I could relate to in the Bible or whatever. But that's what ta uh, Taika what TT um, does with his work, and I think it'll be interesting to see what he does with uh, the next Thor movie, Love and Thunder. Um, and I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Are there situations in your real life that have helped you in your performances? Or have you had an interesting life? Have you done interesting things? Have your parents done interesting things that you could help uh, with your own interpretation of the written word in scripts that you have read. Like, oh, this sounds just like when, and right it is. It's just like, like, you know, you don't have to be Goldilocks to play Goldilocks. You don't have to know what it's like to wander through the woods, find a cabin that's inhabited by bears, and you don't have to know what three types of porridge taste like. I'm sure maybe there's something in your life that you've already done that is similar, 
or you can just use your imagination. If you don't have a real life experience, then just use your imagination. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, that's just, you know, what Taika Waititi had to say about where he gets his inspiration. And I'm sure you guys could probably relate. So, um, you know, like, share, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and check out our merch at teespring.com slash Hack Hollywood. And if you guys are serious about acting, you're not just goofing around, you really want to work on this, then I am potentially available for the right people uh, for my Hack Hollywood program. And also we do some coaching programs as well. And you can contact me at david at hackhollywood.com. You can find information at uh, the website, hackhollywood.com. But that's it. I will talk to you soon.